Hey guys, it's your humble host, or Kayla if you prefer, so I'm back with another video. Um, it's in response to the Mars Girl GoFundMe. Um, I just got done watching, um, I believe, that Umbrella Guy's video on the matter, and I wanted to give my own response in regards to what she says in the GoFundMe, and I know that there's a screenshot being passed around, which I do have a copy of in regards to a private Facebook post that um, somebody outed her for, which I gotta say, if you have your own friends outing you on your bullshit, um, you're doing something wrong, like legit. Anyway, um, the cost she's asking for is fifteen hundred. She so far has two seventy nine. I'm gonna quickly read this and I'm gonna touch upon it. Um, hello everyone. My name is Kaylin Susetto. I have been creating online content for more than a decade and have been a large supporter of fan community culture for as long as I can remember. I will keep this as straightforward as possible to prevent any form of misunderstanding. This campaign is specifically for the base amount that is necessary for me to retain the legal services necessary for me to begin the process of a defamation suit. Which, by the way, nobody is really defaming you. Every, If anything, it's mockery and petty BS to which I covered in my video the other day in regards to your photo being passed around and the camera being responsible for a distortion of your arm. Um, but no one has come out and cost you any money. Um, to my knowledge, nobody has uh, marred your reputation. And if anything, you've done that to yourself. Uh, the defamation is against me by several individuals who have targeted me specifically to be the recipient of harassment in multiple forms. No, everybody's just been uh, making videos on your BS. I mean, like I said, the fact that you even have your own friends outing you, you're doing something really wrong if your own friends are coming up and saying, yeah, no, she's doing this. I'm a friend of hers, but this is shit. Here you guys go. Mm. Uh, for over three months, I've become the target of these individuals for staying with those who have accused a certain figure in the voice acting industry for sexual misconduct, which there is no evidence for, which, by the way, you were the sole creator of the KickVic hashtag, and you retweeted something without evidence, and then when confronted, you either wanted to play stupid, because you did this with me, um, or you tried to deflect, so... As I told Tipster, my first impression of you was total shit. Um, as a result, several individuals have used their platforms to launch a concentrated campaign of character assassination against myself, including the telling of many untruths. Like what? If anything, I've only heard speculation that you possibly knew about Juwario and his true self um, before he committed suicide and the truth of him came out. That is the only thing that I've seen floating around. Anything else? I haven't heard anything. Um, and monetary profiting off my image without my express permission. Okay, people do not need your permission to parody you. People do not need your permission to mock you. I've had my image um, twisted, misconstrued. I've had my logo misconstrued and twisted because people were doing videos on me. And guess what? The videos are still up. The videos are still there. I even have one where it's an old community that I come from, but they have me going like this. They took a snapshot from one of my videos and they cut me out and they put it against one of their backgrounds and they use it as a title card. Because it's done in a derivative and parody and um, uh, the videos about me are in response to me, it, it's technically not illegal to use my image in that sort of way. The video is still up. I've never gone out of my way to decry defamation or say that they're stealing something of mine that's copyrighted because, no, it falls under derivative and uh, educational purposes, if not also parody. Um, so people, because I've seen the images going around, either they... Uh, greatly express your two front teeth. Um, they take an image to which I don't know where they got it, but you have your bottom lip tucked behind your front teeth. 
Um, so I don't know where they got the image from, but this looks like a photo you took yourself. And so people have been use, using that for their title cards in regards to mockery, which, by the way, Channel Awesome kind of did all the time. I used to watch Channel Awesome, not so much anymore. Um, and it's a form, it's a form of expression that is protected under law. Cause again, parody, um, comedy. So defamation is to where when someone says something that costs you financial gain or jobs or opportunities, or you lose out on those. So you haven't been defamed. If anything, you've been highly ridiculed and severely mocked because of bullshit you started. And let's talk about defaming here for a second, if you want to go that route, because mine and yours first interaction had to do with the Resemble Rangers. And yes, I keep bringing this up because now I'm starting to see, uh, there was a tweet by a Tipster the other day uh, in regards to you. And I was actually quite surprised um, because even he was calling what you were doing BS, calling for someone's docs, and doing so publicly. Now, I understand, let me preface this, I understand that if somebody is actually harassing you and stalking you and doing all that messed up stuff, like there's another situation um, that I was helping out with because it was a serious situation. Someone I know from another community was getting cyber stalked. They were getting sent a very, very nasty pics. Um, the two individuals actually that the situation had to deal with, one refused to do anything about it and claimed to know the person, be a sibling of the person doing it. So legal action from my understanding is being pursued and rightfully so. So uh, me along with a few individuals were kind of looking around and connecting the pieces because this person left breadcrumbs anywhere. So that is one case where it was justified. Now the information was not spread around, but we did take the time to go dig in to see what other accounts this person had because they're more than likely a scammer and a liar, which was proven by the way. So it's like, yeah, we're this individual that is the victim of these two other individuals are going forward with legal action. So more power to them, but that is one example of legitimately um, looking for info. What you have done though, is due to the criticism that you are receiving, is you have publicly called for a dox and you are trying to go after someone for a defamation. There are cases, as I just mentioned, of yes, looking for people's info to take to either the authorities because they're doing something illegal, they're doing something legitimately wrong. What you are getting pissed off about is people calling you out on your shit. Now, there is speculation, again, with the Juwario stuff that um, your channel's been dying for a while, um, your views have plateaued. Again, I'm not even gonna like touch that because my channel's been bottlenecked ever since DO5. Um, and I'm not even gonna use the channel and even brag because they're temporary and YouTube can pull a YouTube channel at any time and not give them back. We've seen it happen over the past one to two years. I knew someone with 3,000 that completely disappeared and had to start all over. A good channel. But anyway, so from what a lot of people are saying and speculating is because the Jew Warrior incident, which did hurt Channel Awesome, other accusations came out about other people, other people were accused of knowing about it but not doing anything, yourself included. Um, I have no evidence to support that or disprove that either way. I just remember that stuff coming out and kind of falling off with it because it was such a clusterfuck of information and there was no straight story that I could see to be found anywhere. There was just this big deluge of Google Doc that I couldn't be freaking arsed to go through. Um, so I fell off with that. But anyway, I have a tweet here. So because, and call me a bit spiteful, I don't care. You and Tipster both got on my case in regards to being drama filled um, or attaching myself to any sort of drama. So when I saw this the other day, the fact that, again, Tipster claims to be your buddy. He's told me so in DMs, has claimed to know known you for a while. You have someone who has called you out on your personal Facebook or rather leaked a private Facebook post to the rest of us, and then you have your own buddy here who you ran to a while ago to try to get me to go away, which by the way didn't work. 
Um, for any future reference or anybody, if you have an issue with me, come to me directly. You sicken people after me is not going to do you anything except for cause more trouble. Um, but what he says here, the fact Mars Girl doesn't see the problem with asking friends to help her dox. Yellow Flash guy just shows she's completely lost in it. If her reason for wanting to dox is true, why do it at all? Lawyers can gather that info themselves via legal means. It literally makes zero sense. And let me touch upon this slightly because for the most part, Tipster is correct. And I'm not defending what Mars Girl is doing. Again, I'm going to reference the incident I've had to use as a reference multiple times the DO5 situation or Daddy O5. So, uh, just to give a quick synopsis or whatnot, after me and Joy um, came together and exposed what was really going on after we saw each other's evidence and text messages and all that wonderful bullshit, it turns out uh, that the lawyer, <laughs> this is just an example because I want to kind of, tipster's mostly right, but then he's a little bit wrong here. Um, the lawyer, Tim Conlon, was looking for my info to serve me a cease and desist. Me and Joy talked about it, um, and I've been shown emails of this, but they couldn't find me. <laughs> the lawyer could not find me. Um, so lawyers aren't always able to find people, um, online. So I'm not, again, I'm not defending what Mars Girl is doing. I've had to go look for people's info in the past, either because they were a pedophile that we needed to report to the police or to report some other sort of illegal activity or something of that nature. So I, it's, it's asking people to help you find info isn't entirely out of the scope. It only becomes a problem when that info is being passed around like candy and used to intimidate and harass and try to silence somebody. Again, there's a difference between looking for info to deal with someone legally and then to look for someone's info to try to silence and intimidate them, which you have people doing with uh, that umbrella guy and his daughter, Little Umbrella. So, but again, um, he's mostly right and then a little bit wrong. So it's, it's a mixed bag. But my point of showing this is because once again, both of you got onto my case, and this is nothing to Tipster. I retweeted it. I haven't heard anything back. I don't plan to go after him. I don't care to. He's um, go check him out if you want. His handles right there, um, which is at the legit Tipster. But anyway, so with that being said, Mars Girl, you you're welcome to try, and I don't know who you're going after. I really don't care. I I really don't. Um, but you don't have anything defamation-wise. If anything, you could be countersued and prove it like, no, she goes around and does this. So the fact that you even open that legal door because you're in hot water already with Ty Beard and uh, Vic's legal party, so I, you trying to countersue because you're already, this is, I believe, the speculation going around, um, and I believe Nick Rokita has touched upon this, you're going to get served more than likely. So you're already going to have to pay legal fees to deal with that. And then you want to top on that a countersuit to YouTubers and online people who do nothing but ridicule you for your BS. No one has defamed you. No one's called you a predator, a, a rapist, which you've come out and called Vic. No one's done anything. Public figures are mocked all the time. I've been called our source of horde names. I've had my image distorted. I've had it manipulated. I've had it twisted to mock me or look like I have some sort of mental condition, which no offense to those people who do. I'm just um, stating the fact what they are. So, but I haven't gone after those people because again, I've put myself out there publicly, all my bullshit included, all my actions, all my stuff, not my, obviously not my personal info, so I've never put that out there except for my first and last name, but my, Im my face, my image, my art, my freaking point of views, all of that has been put out there and it's free up for criticism and ridicule. Yes, people are going to criticize your actions and ridicule you because you're royally fucked up. Instead of trying to say, oh, well, I'm a victim because you're not, you... As I've told people, this has turned into internet blood sports. Now, I'm not okay with the doxing. 
um, in regards to using it to silence, harass, and intimidate. Um, as I said, it's one thing to try to find somebody to go after them legally for legitimate wrongdoing and actual defamation, like in the case of Vic Manana. Um, it's something completely different to try to dox somebody for silence, intimidation, scare tactics, which we've seen people try to do with uh, Dominic Sky. Again, I'm not defending her, but the fact that people were calling her workplace a medical facility, no less, that she works as a nurse, that was fucked up. Uh, people going after Taga and Umbrella, that's fucked up. Um, as I mentioned in my video, people bringing in spouses from both sides of the um, uh, argument, that's fucked up. Children, spouses, anybody who's not involved, do not bring them in. Um, which, I know people have touched upon your husband, he's put himself out there, I don't know if he's necessarily attached himself to the Kick Vic um, situation, I highly doubt he has, but he is out there on your stream as you guys do the channel together, from what I've seen, because yes, I have sat down and watched some of your stuff. Um, but regardless, you can't play victim. You have done a lot of damage. You have done a lot of fucked up shit. And the fact that you are buckling down instead of looking at the stuff that's legitimately coming out, I mean, you back people, like, take for example, Samantha. Samantha L. Hart, you backed her far with the fake swatting stuff and then came out a little bit later saying, well, take with this as you will, when Samantha L. Hart tried to push the swatting story a third time saying, oh, well, the police were doing this when I got told they were investigating shit. So, which I did try to touch base with that and the tech, someone did call me back. I left them a voicemail and never heard anything. So at this point, I don't give a damn. Um, but like 1500 for retainer fees. No, there's there's no way that's just 1500 and I guess it depends on what state you live in. Because looking back at your Facebook post, because I know you live in California now, it's information you put out. Um, I know you said you wanted a cheap lawyer pro bono. Um, the fact, because your Facebook post, the fact I even told you, did congressmen involved? Are you kidding me? Congressmen aren't going to be able to do jack shit for you. You are part of a defamation witch hunt. You have gone out of your way, which there is a tweet that you did put out yourself, and it's still up there. Um, well, it was last time I checked a Rakita stream last week, I believe, to where you wanted to keep Vic from making money. You wanted him deplatformed. Uh, you don't want to make your money at the cons, any voice acting, so you put that out there yourself. You have gone out of your way to make sure, or to try to make sure, Vic Banyana has not made or will never make any money again in his chosen industry or trade of work. So the fact that you are now going around and screaming that you've been defamed is total and utter bullshit. And I know this video is long, but you know what? As I told Tipster, my first impression of you is shit. I don't know you as a person. I know your online personality at this point. And frankly, I don't want to meet you. You to, you to me are very shallow. I just, I, I don't know why you're doing this. Um, I don't know why you've been jumped on this wagon to begin with. Again, people speculate it's due to clout and trying to fix your reputation from the Jew Wario shit, which I don't have proof either way. And at this point, I frankly don't care. Um... I just know that the guy's channel was uh, memorialized, and I didn't see any police reports myself, uh, so I don't, I don't know, Channel Awesome has been a clusterfuck, I know Mr. Medicare has covered that particular, uh, I guess we could say company, he did an entire series on it, I think he was meant to cover some more, I don't know, but at the same time, it's just you... <sighs> But no, this is ridiculous. I will be surprised if you do get 1500 And whatever joke of a lawyer, I'm not a legal expert by any means. I don't have any training in that line of work, profession, or any college classes, whatever. But I can tell you right now, 1500 for a retainer fee... No, no. See, that to me, right, it's, it's a red... It is a red flag. Unless you got some sort of like cracker box 
dude who's telling you uh, the fact that he even told you to try to get congressmen involved. Whoever the crap you are talking to, you need to back the fuck away from. Because this dude's going to get you in a whole lot of shit. I'm calling it now. Again, with the deal of five lawyer, Tim Conlon, um, and that situation is long and over, and it just that, that dude was dumber than a bag of bricks. Uh, so I've had some experience dealing with a lawyer. Um, I've also, Nick Rakita, I've watched him for a while, but like, the lawyer I had to mess with. The freak, some of the dumb shit that came out of his mouth, and some of the stuff he said. I, mm. Um, but of course, there was bullshit being passed to him that wasn't true, so it's kind of a mixed bag. But, no. <sighs> I know this video has gone on long enough. Uh, I don't think I've been finished reading this. I have been speaking with, and will be increase the fee if it's met, as well as when I'm introduced with new costs from the law firm as they arise. I will be doing my best to also be paying out of my own pocket to ensure that others do not have to contribute more than necessary. The sooner this can be met, the better. I said, do not have the financial means to retain the civil services on my own. I'm requesting any assistance that can possibly be procured. Any support is greatly appreciated, and I will be glad to update with answers to any questions you might have as well. Thank you for your help in advance. So, again... This doesn't make any sense, 1500 because you're talking about wanting to go after several people, individuals, that's plural. 1500 again, and I'm sure it varies by state from state, how much lawyers will charge you for a retainer fee, and what type of lawyers they are, because I know there's different types. There's family lawyers, there's civil, there's criminal, so I, I at least know that much. Um, but regardless, because you're talking about defamation, which, um, when you look at the word, will cost you money, cost you job opportunities, cost you actual reputation, which you kind of like destroyed yourself at this point. Um, your lawyer sounds like shit just from the retainer amount and what you repeated in your Facebook post, which you're calling this dangerous. Now, I will say that people, if people are going out of the way to try to dox you, that is shit. I'm not for doxing. I'm not for some of the crap that's going on. And I have called it out. I have called it out on my streams, on my videos. So it, I, I've even had some comments, people leaving comments about I was a controlling bitch and that these people deserve what they get. Da-da-da-da. Um, yeah, I, I, I get, guys, I get these people are being shitbags. I get that Mars Girl, Run Famous, Dominic Sky are all being shitbags. But again, let me reiterate here. Boundaries. There is a such thing as having standards. So if you don't like that, go away. Um, I, like I've said, I mean my shit talk too, but you know, I got boundaries. I don't go after children. I don't dox people because you never know who else is also staying with the individuals that are being shitbags. You don't know what the situation is. You don't know if they're taking care of an elderly person, a niece, a nephew. You don't know. So the fact, I just, you get my point. But of course, I'm going to have more people bitch on this video too. Eh, whatever. Go go elsewhere. You're, you're irritating me. But anyway, so that is my thoughts on the matter. It's a mixed bag. Sorry for the rambling, but call me a spiteful shit if you want. I don't care. Uh, but this woman irritates the living fuck out of me. And I, I will call bullshit where I see it, depending, or excuse me, regardless of what side it is, which I have done. So I've been fair. I have. Um... But you, Mars Girl, really need to get a reality check. This is not, I can tell you right now, you're going to get into more legal shit than you want to be. And you're going to get yourself into some deep financial crap if you do not cut this off right now. I'm calling it now. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But if I'm right, I told you so. I'm not trying to be nasty, but I'm calling it now. Watch. Just watch how this unfolds. Anyway... This is my this has been your humble host and I will see you guys in the next one and uh, I hope the lights come on soon. That's all I can say.